Welcome back. This is Must Know Machine Learning Concepts, and this is section five already. Wow, five of them. All right, so in this lesson, we're going to talk about the myths. One of my favorite, and certainly not one of the favorite of most of the people watching this video, because we're going to dispel a lot of machine learning myths, and most people just don't like this. The modeling myth. Most machine learning is modeling. No, it is not. The programmer myth. Machine learning engineers are programmers. No, they are not. They are data professionals. The math myth. You've got to be a mathematician in order to work in machine learning. No, you do not. The degree myth. You need to have an advanced degree, a master's degree, or a PhD, or an undergrad in STEM. No, you do not. Entry-level jobs. You're going to graduate with your master's degree. You're going to take courses. You're going to do X, Y, and Z, and you're going to get an entry-level job in machine learning. No, you are not. Most models built in the real world are deep learning models. No, they are not. All right, let's dig in. You'll be spending most of your time creating models as a M-L-E, or a machine learning engineer. No, you won't. The studies on this are conclusive. Uh, you can go out and do and research and do your own reading. 80%, which is low, of all applied real-world, think real-world machine learning, is data-centric. It's data. And it's really two things. It's a combination of sourcing the data, right? You've got your data from mostly in relational databases. So you've got to source it, S-O-U-R-C-E, you got to source it. And then this is this is really time consuming. This is really a pain in the butt because, because in the real world, data is dirty and it's all over the place. And then after that, you have to clean it. You have to clean it. And this is also very time consuming. All right, so these two steps really, uh, honestly, it's not 80%, it's 95% of my job. I don't know where they get this 80% from. Uh, modeling is easy. The models have been what we call a democratized, which means they're already created. We know the best model for every uh, almost every scenario, just the way it is. So this idea that you're going to be spending all your time creating models or modeling because it's really cool is, is really a big myth. Let's move on to the programming myth. Machine learning engineers are programmers. You'll see this all the time. I didn't mean to cross through that. I do have a habit of doing that, don't I? I meant to underline it. No, they are data professionals. Here is at Humana. Humana is a pretty big company. So it's very big. Machine learning professional. Now, they don't know what the job is. It's really a machine learning engineer. And you can see they don't even list any machine learning skills. I wonder why that is. What's number one? Number one is SQL. What's number two? Number two is AWS. What's number three? Azure. So you've got cloud skills, right? Cloud. And you've got number one at data skills. So if you don't understand this, uh, you're simply never going to work in machine learning, right? Uh, data. Data is the key component for every machine learning model. Remember, all models have three things. They have data, right? Data goes in, right? There's the modeling, and then there's a prediction, right? That's the output. This is the most important facet of the entire machine learning process. Hence, why you need data professionals to be able to source and clean the data. All right, let's move on. You use math every day as a machine learning engineer. No, you don't. Most people don't know the math behind the models. So this idea that we use math every day is certainly a really big myth. We don't, right? So what we do use is something called applied stats. So what is applied statistics, right? So you might know the mean of something, right? I took a, I took a course in stats and I know the mean. I knew the median. I, met, I know the mode. Oh, that's great. But doesn't mean anything unless you can't apply it. So if I ask you in an interview, how do you do mean value and mutation to your data? Can you do it? What's your answer? This should be your answer, right? So we know that number one, this is Python. And if you watch my videos, you'll know Python is the, it's the number one language in the world. I put it behind there. Number one, Lang in the world for machine learning. That's not gonna change every large tech company Google, Microsoft, Amazon, you just name one, Facebook, they're all using Python. 
All right, so what do we have? This is Python, DF, data frame, right? We're defining a data frame and we're using pandas to do this. Fill an A, right? This is the applied statistics parts. What is an A? An A means not a number and that is Python. That means there's a hole that needs to be filled in this feature. DF, right? Dot mean. We want the mean of that column. All right, so this is what I mean by applied, applied stats. So knowing all the theory isn't enough. You're really gonna have to know applied statistics and applied statistics means applying, applying statistical techniques, text, T-E-C-H, T-E-C-H, text to your data, right? Applying statistical techniques to your data. That is data cleansing. All right. All right, let's move on to the degree myth. You'll see this a lot. The college kids love this one. You need a STEM degree. No, you do not. Or a master's degree, or even worse, a PhD. <laughs> PhD, no, you do not. To work in machine learning, you do not. I don't know any solid machine learning engineer that has a STEM degree or even has a master's in applied machine learning or anything like it. So what you do need is a degree, a four-year, four-year degree in something. You need a four-year degree in something. Now, I don't know why companies do this, and I don't care. I'm just telling you the way it is. So you need a four-year degree in something, and it can be in basket weaving. doesn't matter. But what really counts are the skills. Companies hire skills, right? They don't hire degrees. All right, so this idea that you're going to get a degree and your master's degree and you're going to this great college or whatever is a myth. You're not. You're not going to get a job. I promise. Good luck. Like, we don't care about degrees. We care about skills in the real world. And most of you will find that out the hard way. Job myth. Now, this is for machine learning, right? I'll get an entry-level job if everyone, everyone loves this, right? If I get my master's from a prestigious college. If I get my PhD. If I take course X, Y, and Z. X, Y, and Z. I'm going to get a job because I'm smarter than everyone else in applied machine learning. <laughs> no, you're not. There are no entry level jobs, no entry level jobs in machine learning at any real company. None. So every time I see someone tell me they got a job and machine learning right out of college or this or that. I know they're lying, right? It's a lie. They didn't get a job and then fly machine learning to any real company. They may be on one of those joke sites like Fiverr, but, but we don't care about those. I mean, that's not even real world work. That's not counted as real world jobs. So no one cares about that. There are no entry level jobs in machine learning. Good luck. Deep learning models are the only models we use. Nope. Deep learning models get all the attention, right? Because large language models are really cool, right? LLMs, ChatGPT, and BARD and all the others. Uh, because FSD on Tesla is really advanced and cool, and FSD are deep learning models, right? Uh, so deep learning models get a lot of attention. But the truth is, most machine learning are trad models. And actually, most machine learning is really one trad model, well, one group of trad models called gradient boosters. That's it. Why? Because nothing beats them, right? They are the best, the best model for almost every structured data problem. And the two most frequently occurring structured data problems in the real world, structured data problems are classification, classification, that's number one, Number one, and regression. Man, I write worse than a doctor. And that's number two. And guess what excels at 
these problems. Classification and regression. Right, gradient boosters. Deep learning models can't be gradient boosters. All right? So what did we learn? We talked about the modeling myth. You get your job as a machine learning engineer, you're going to be spending all your time building cool models. <laughs> no, you're not. If you think that, good luck. The program myth. Machine learning engineers are programmers. No, they are not. They are data professionals. The math myth. You've got to be a mathematician or have insanely strong math skills in order to do machine learning. No, you're not. We're data professionals. You better have solid data skills or you'll never work in machine learning. You have to know applied stats. And most people, honestly, they don't even know what that means. Talk to most people that are graduating college or most people that I interview, and uh, I start talking about applied statistics and they look lost because most people are lost. The degree myth, right? You got to have a degree in a STEM or artificial intelligence or a master's. Yeah, good luck with that. No, you don't. There are tons of entry-level jobs out there. No, there are tons of jobs out there to the tune of about 350K globally. And none, none are entry-level because you do not have the skills to build models in the real world. That's just how it is. Deep learning. Deep learning is X amount of applied machine learning. No, it's not. No, it's not. 80% or more of machine learning is done with trad models. All right. So in this section, we've put a lot of myths to bed. And this will upset some people. It's too bad. You know, that's the way it is. Learn from it and adjust your plans accordingly.